All right, let's look at one more system of two linear equations. And because this one's a little bit different, and it, it's, it, it brings home a point. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do this just like we did the other ones. If you remember the last one, we solved for x, we substituted x, then we solved this equation, then we took this result and put it back into here. Then we did a check. All right. And the check comes out equal every time. Now let's let's do this one then one more time. I uh, this time I'm, I'm just going to solve for y because that's what I feel like doing this time. Y equals six minus x. Ta-da! So every place I see a y, I'm going to put in six minus x. So now I have five x plus five times 6 minus x equal 10. So I have 5x plus 30 minus 5x equals 10. And I get stopped dead in my tracks because these two guys cancel out. And now I have 30 equals 10. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I know that's not true. So I don't actually have to work this out all the way to the end to discover that I have a problem here. These guys just canceled. I'm stuck with 30 equals 10 and that just isn't true. So what does this mean? This means that there's no solution. If you remember back to where we were doing graphing, we said that if we solve for the slope-intercept format and both lines have the same slope but different um, b's, different y-intercepts, then they would be parallel lines and would have no intersection and so they would have no solution. Well, let's, let's do this the old-fashioned way just to find out. Here I have y equals minus x plus 6. That's that one. And here I have 5y equals minus 5x plus 10. I divide both sides by 5. And I have y equals minus x plus 2. What I have here is I have the same m, the same slope. The slope is m equals minus 1 in this case. But I have two different y-intercepts. I have one that equals 6, and I have another one that equals 2. So, these two lines are parallel, they never cross, they will never ever come up with a solution. So there is no solution to this problem. So, when you use the substitution method, you will know if you have no solution when an incorrect statement results like 30 equals 10 or 24 equals 75 or something like that. This is nuts, this doesn't exist. So, therefore, that means you don't have a solution.